We're learning more about a possible defense for the Pennsylvania student accused of stabbing people 22 inside his high school. The attorney for Alex Tribal plans to request a psychiatric exam. He's described as a B student with no history of trouble. Investigators seize the family's computer, searching for a possible motive. This latest school tragedy comes as one local district has installed what could be one of the most advanced school security systems in the nation. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has a look at it, reporting from Long Island. At Plain Edge High School in Massapequa, they're charting new territory in school security, a panic button with brains that could launch a lockdown with one touch. We just locked down the entire building with the push of one button. The smart panic button is mounted in the school office, but can also be activated from administrators' mobile devices. One button launches a series of safety measures simultaneously. When you make the choice to pull the button, you're pulling the button on all these actions. Doors are locked and access disabled. A pre-recorded announcement is played. We are now moving into lockdown. Police are notified. Text alerts sent to parents and students. Computers display a lockdown message. Strobe lights flash. First responders can then access a network of cameras and floor plans. You want to be able to push, run, and activate. You know, secure yourself, secure the staff, secure the students. You don't want to have to pull out the checklist and say, what do I do first, second, and third? The $10,000 one-touch feature was paid for by New York State and Homeland Security funds. One day after the latest school rampage in Pennsylvania, parents we spoke to welcomed the upgrade. I don't take it as a big brother. I take it as let's be ahead of let's be ahead of the curve. I don't think it's too much. I think like as much as they can do, that's good. District officials say they feared panic slows reaction time. Now they can launch a lockdown without human hesitation, costing precious moments. In Massapequa, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. During a lockdown, students and staff members would be able to exit the building and first responders would have the ability to enter.